the headline figure is for people who choose low carb at Norwood Avenue, which at the moment is just over half our entire diabetic population. So half the people with diabetes at Norwood Avenue at the moment have chosen a low carb approach because we don't force this on people, we're offering it. So for my patients who go low carb, about 50 to 51% will achieve drug-free type 2 diabetes remission. And that is maintained to about 33 months on the diet. And so it, again, it makes sense. If you look at the entire diabetic population at Norwood Avenue, 24% of the diabetic population have achieved drug-free type 2 diabetes remission. And this is a massive beacon of hope showing what is possible. And of course, I'm aware of colleagues in Australia, in New Zealand, who have achieved very similar results. So it's, it's been done all over the world. So it is possible. Um, and what's even more exciting, so in the last, uh, if anybody's interested, this is all published in BMJ Nutrition. So our latest paper was, was last year. And we were looking at, well, what difference does it make how long you've had diabetes? And so even people who've had diabetes for 10 to 15 years might get remission. But the, those who have had diabetes, if you get them early, people in the first year, 73% of them will achieve type 2 diabetes remission. So this really should be part of policy that people should know this and be offered when you're diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. We should be saying you stand a really good chance of drug-free remission. Are you interested? Because such an important part of this work is motivating people for change. So we're getting 73% um, of those newly diagnosed, diagnosed the diabetes into remission, drug-free remission. We're getting 50% of the entire, um, everybody who chooses low carb. And some people have had diabetes for 15 years and still achieve remission. People are coming off insulin, significant drug savings. Average blood pressure improvements, probably about six millimeters of mercury systolic and 12 millimeters of mercury diastolic. And 20% of everybody on drugs for blood pressure comes off those drugs for blood pressure because the BP is so good. So in a way, the actual improvements in blood pressure are better than six millimeters of mercury, systolic, 12, diastolic, because of course I've uh, stopped the drugs. And then on top of that, you're getting cardiovascular risk. So again, we've seen significant improvements in every single measure of cardiovascular risk. So we, yes, we're looking at fasting lipid profiles. We're looking at LDL, that improves. Um, the thing I'm really excited about is the triglyceride HDL ratios. Those improve by about a third. So again, uh, and, and liver function tests. So the liver function tests improve by about 40%. And we've written separate papers on all of these things. Truly, Peter, I never thought I would live to see this kind of result. Normally with drugs, well, you'll, you'll know yourself, with drugs, you get a sort of maybe a 10% improvement, something like that. But to get one intervention, which is improving every single measure of cardiovascular risk, um, liver function and diabetes, it's so exciting. I just can't leave it alone. And I'm an absolute low-carb bore uh, on the...